Well, good morning. I'm Wayne Hudson. I'm here with another coaching tip for today. Man, what are you doing? Where have you been? I've been out in the parking lot waiting on you. I saw your car out there, man. I'm ready to go fishing. You said fishing? Yeah, that's what you said in your text right now. I didn't there. say, you need to go back and reread that. I didn't say we're going fishing. I said we was going to talk about being fishers of men. Oh, dang. man, I've been fired up, man. I blew, I got my, my lucky shirt on. I like that shirt. That I love that I shirt. even got fish on my shorts. Man, and you are ready. How you like? I got this Spider-Man 2000 uh, rod and reel. Man, I was ready to go today. I got my, my lucky hat. Man, you're... You are. You're and, ready, and the lucky man. bait, man. I see look, that. look at that worm. That's one of them Tallahatchie County <laughs> worms, right? There. I wish you could get as excited about being fishers of men as you are about going fishing. Oh. So let's talk about that. Okay. Today, okay. Right. Uh, let's go back to John 15 again. And that's re real quick, look, just remind you of what John 15 8 says. John 15 8 says, By this is my Father glorified that we bear much fruit, proving to be his disciples. That, that word disciple is a very important word in the New Testament. You agree? It is. All right, so why don't you tell us, why don't you talk for just a minute about how you would define the word disciple. All right. Uh, right here, behind us here, we, we see Matthew 4, 19. Follow me and I will make you fish. I mean, that's a great verse to use sure is. Uh, to define what a disciple is. And we've been talking about, you know, a disciple. And, and we're supposed to be making disciples. So... Mm -hmm. We, we need to understand what a disciple is. Right. We need to be on the same page. And so uh, three phrases that we can use based off of, of Matthew 4, 19 to help us define a disciple. Jesus says, follow me. And so the first thing, we know that a disciple has a relationship with Jesus. Right. A disciple knows Jesus. And it's because Jesus says, follow me. And so it's about a relationship with, with Jesus. But then he says, follow me and I will make you. And so Jesus doesn't leave us in the same spot. He begins right. to change us. He begins to shape us and mold us. And so not only does a disciple have a relationship with Jesus, but a disciple is one who's being changed by Jesus. Okay. And then he is making us into, into to someone. He's making us into fishers of men. He's making us into disciple makers. And so a disciple has a relationship with Jesus. A disciple is being changed by Jesus. And then third, based on what he says here, a disciple is committed to the mission of Jesus. Okay. His own mission with Jesus. Okay. And so that's a pretty pretty easy way to define a disciple. Yeah, it is. And, and using one verse here, we can do that. Yeah. I, I, I agree. So it, that make sure I'm hearing you right. That a, a true disciple has a relationship with Jesus. Yeah. A true disciple is being changed by Jesus. And a true disciple is on mission with Jesus. Yeah. So you can sum it up in saying that this relationship that we have with Jesus radically changes our life and gives our life purpose. And right. that we've been called to go and make other disciples. Or he takes plain, ordinary men, like me and you, plain, ordinary people, yeah. radically changes our life, gives a whole new purpose to yeah. become fishers of men. And that's the coaching tip for today, that we allow Jesus to radically change our life and give our life purpose, and let's become fishers of men. Hope you have a blessed day. Well, let's, uh, I guess I better go put the one riding reel up. Let me get my Bible, and let's go be fishers of men. Let's go, bud. <laughs>